Hey, hi, I'm Chris at Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just tasting this delicious ice cream and going over today's science file. And today's science file, that's us. How do you make ice cream at home? Well, that's a great question. Try this. You will need some plastic zipping bags, some half and half, some powdered sugar, ice and salt. Okay, are you looking for a sweet treat without the financial beat? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make ice cream right at home with stuff you already have in your kitchen. Start by adding 250 milliliters of half and half to a sandwich bag. Then add six spoonfuls of icing sugar. Okay, now it's time to flavor your ice cream up. If you like vanilla ice cream, add a splash of vanilla. If you like chocolate ice cream, add two to four teaspoons of chocolate powder. Oh, well, you know, I happen to like both vanilla and chocolate. You know, because I'm, I'm down with the swirl. Oh. Now get yourself a 3.8 liter zipping bag and you're going to alternate adding ice and salt. Then add your ice cream to a second 3.8 liter bag, and then put this ice cream inside the ice bag. Now wrap a towel around the entire bag. Now you're going to take this and you're going to shake it for 20 to 40 minutes! That's so wicked cool. I made ice cream. That is so wicked cool. So, how does adding salt to ice lower the freezing point of water? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Normally, water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. However, salt water freezes at a lower temperature. As the ice melts in the bag, the salt dissolves in the melted water. Since the salt adds more molecules to the water, the ice can't capture the water molecules to freeze them. This causes the freezing point of the water to go down to about minus four degrees Celsius and refreezes the water. The milky mixture freezes because the ice steals heat energy from the milky mixture to maintain ice form. With salt in the ice, this does cause the ice to lose heat energy quicker, which is why people put salt on icy and snowy roads. Thermal insulators work by reducing the effect of heat transfer between matter as well as slowing transfer of heat into and out of objects. The towels keep the ice cold in the same way a jacket keeps you warm in the winter. Jackets have air pockets in them, and it's these air pockets that slow the transfer of heat. Air molecules are far apart, so it takes more energy to lose heat through jackets and clothing. Just like the towels create air pockets slowing the loss of heat energy from the ice. So now you know more about thermal insulation. You know, making your own ice cream right at home is why science is so cool. Mmm.